One of the main religions that I am friends with, they're always talking about, I want to go to heaven. I'm always thinking about the afterlife. But right now you're telling me that shouldn't be our main focus. Mm -hmm. Makes no sense. God sends you down to earth so that you can go to heaven? So Judaism is interesting. There are some precursors to the idea of heaven and hell in some schools of Jewish thought. And every Jew is familiar with the world to come as they call it. But this concept isn't developed in Judaism at all. Judaism isn't so much focused on what happens after death. So the question of heaven is almost besides the point. But to address your comment that God sends us down so we can go to heaven, typical strawman fallacy, what else did I expect? No Christian, Muslim, or any other believer of some sort of paradise holds to these strawman that you're attacking that God sends us down so we can go right back up. If you're going to object to a certain belief, understand it first. Don't just build a caricature of it. So being here is what? Torture? What a wild leap in logic. How did you get from certain religions focus on the afterlife to it must be torturous on earth then? That is a next level presupposition. If you're meant to get to heaven, go. What are you waiting for? It doesn't make any sense. Right. Well, I think the reason it doesn't make any sense is because you have no knowledge of any religion's concept of heaven. I don't even know where to start answering something so dumb. I mean, you skip the whole part where how you live your life on earth leads up to this concept of heaven at the end. We believe in the process of theosis and sanctification where we are eventually united to God in perfect communion, participating in the divine life. Muslims see it as a reward for living a good and righteous life, according to the teachings of Allah and his prophet. There is an entire theology behind these beliefs. Are you intentionally being ignorant? Judaism says, don't go to heaven, don't be rewarded, just do for God what God needs. He's right, the concept of an afterlife isn't clearly defined in mainstream Judaism. The focus tends to be on the present, although it depends on what branch of Judaism you're talking about. For example, the Chabad Lubavitch Hasidic Jews have a clearly defined concept of an afterlife, which is interesting because I'm 99% sure that this rabbi belongs to the Chabad community. But I'll flip your question on you. What is the purpose of God creating us and certain guidelines to live by? Just because? No, because that's not the God of the Torah. God constantly makes promises of reward to Israel and the patriarchs for obedience to him. So if you believe God will reward you here on earth, you are chasing some sort of reward or a means to an end. But you aren't being completely honest because every Jew believes in an afterlife. It's just up to them how much they want to focus on it. Daniel 12, 2, and many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Job 19, For I know that my Redeemer lives, and at the last he will stand upon the earth, and after my skin has been thus destroyed, yet in my flesh I shall see God. And what does he need? To be present on earth. So if you go to heaven, you're going to miss him. As I said earlier, straw man. Every religion teaches to be present on earth, and they also teach that God dwells in heaven. How are you going to miss him if you're with him?